What's up guys, Hong Nee in here for OG Fitness. And in, today in this video, I wanna talk about iron palm uh, conditioning. So should you be conditioning your hands at all? Okay, so before I get started, uh, let me, uh, well, take a second please to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, so let's get into it. So I just watched this video from um, uh, Master Wong and uh, he has this dude named Dr. John in that video and they're talking about iron palm and conditioning uh, their hands, right? So now, he's not the only one, there's a lot of other people that talk about conditioning your hands and shit like that. And I know that in traditional martial arts, you know, people talk a lot about that, you know, like, you know, hitting sand and blah, 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 punching shit, you know, punching trees, punching bricks, just smashing their hands so that their hands get uh, conditioned, okay? But, so, here's the thing. I, I don't believe in that. Like, I know it's, um, it's, it's woo-woo shit, man, to be honest. It's, it's stuff that, like, it sounds like, oh, yeah, you know, mystical and, oh, yeah, ancient uh, secret. You know, I get my hands really strong. I even rub some medicine on it, some Chinese medicine, and then it becomes hard like a brick, and I'll knock somebody out, you know, and my hand won't break and shit. That's bullshit because here's the thing. Your hand, okay, has a lot of uh, bones, a lot of small bones in it, okay, and there's joints too. So now what you do, what you're actually doing when you're smashing your hand against a tree or anything, any, or on any kind of hard surface, on bricks, on uh, concrete, whatnot, you know, all you're doing is that you're desensitizing your, your nerves, you know, you're killing your nerves. And not only are you killing your nerves, but you're fucking up your joints and your bones, okay? And what happens is that when you fuck up your bones and you start like creating micro fat fractures, okay, your bone is gonna like, your body's gonna like send a whole bunch of, uh, of um, you know, calcium and, and rebuild on, 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 on top of it. It might sound cool, but the problem is your hand is made to move. These fingers, it's, it's for dexterity, okay? So if, if, you're, if you have a whole bunch of micro fractures and you keep on fracturing, uh, creating these micro fractures in your hands, okay? And then they become harder and harder and bone is building on top of bone to keep repairing all this shit. At one point, you can't move your goddamn hand anymore. And uh, what, what's gonna happen is that these are joints. So you're gonna have fucking arthritis. You're gonna lose the use of your hands, okay? And for what? So that you could punch somebody out and not feel it? You're still gonna like, like Okay, whatever you got you. So instead of having hands that are actually useful for um, everyday living and for you know, um, well, function having functional hands, now you just reduce your hands to like uh, bricks to punch somebody. What's the point? I'll show you. I'll t I'll show you something smarter. Okay, now instead of thinking, oh, I'm just gonna like turn these into into uh, into rocks and then and, and smack people with it. Okay, why don't you learn how to fight properly? Okay, now what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, you have to know where to hit, okay? So when you punch somebody, this is, this is the sweet spot right here, the chin. Or anywhere here, you see where like the beard, like I don't have a beard, but if I had a beard, like this line right here, anywhere here, okay? And this would be the sweet spot, like here, 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 or the temple here, it's done. Now. If uh, Bass Rutan talks about this a lot, and he says that like if he was fighting in the streets or in a self self defense situation, here's the thing: use your palm, palm strike instead, because this is much harder and much more solid, and it won't break. But your your fists will break. So um, you know, and so it's a it's a better approach. And also, like let's say you could use your elbows. This is a big strong bone. Okay instead of like just punching with your, your knuckles. And of course, even if you have these, okay, if you're gonna punch with your, your a closed fist, make sure you're punching, you're aiming the middle knuckle, okay? Because these, these two knuckles here, they're small. These two here, they're big, okay? So if you try to aim with this one, it's, it's kind of awkward, you know, you gotta turn your wrist. But if you, if you aim with this right here, the big knuckle, it's still gonna hurt and you, you still might like, um, you're gonna feel it. But I mean, it's much more solid. Now, of course, you gotta keep your wrist uh, aligned, okay? So that it doesn't break this way or that way. 
and you gotta aim at the right place. So you gotta hit it here, hit it here, anywhere here, here, and then, um, you know, like, once you, that's it, man. Like, that's how, that's how you have to learn how to fight and approach it. Not by conditioning your hands, you know? That like you're conditioning your hands and, and like, you're, I'll put the link down in the video of this, of, uh, uh, this iron palm uh, video thing, and, and the guy's going like this. Oh, yeah, it's 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 hard, and dude, man, like don't don't fall for that shit. Oh, on another note, if you want to condition your shins, okay, that's actually kind of not as bad. Like as of now, that's my that's my opinion on it, okay? Because you know it's not a joint, okay? It's a flat, big piece of flat bone here, you know. And uh, if you're and like I, I don't recommend though. Uh, using a fucking stick or kicking like a, you know, like bricks and shit like that. Just, just you start off kicking a bag with your shin, and then you, know, you know, you'll, you'll desensitize. You'll kill a little bit of nerves. The bones will, you know, build up a little bit there. But I, I'm still not convinced it's the best thing to do. But uh, I still, eh, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence. I'd have to look it up and, and talk to, little, to do a little bit more research on that. But anyways, but for your hands, don't condition your hands, guys, because. Uh, you're gonna have arthritis and you're gonna reduce your hands to like a useless pile of, you know, blah, like, you know, and you don't have to. Like, just, just learn how to punch, punch open palm, do some grappling, do some elbows, you know, and that's it, man. Like, be smart about it. Don't, don't go conditioning your hands. Uh, it, it, like, the, the way that uh, a lot of these guys, these traditional martial arts guys are talking about, it's, it's complete bullshit. Like, even if you have conditioned hand, dude, like I know how to roll with a punch, right? So if you were to punch me, let's say we're going at it, like I'm gonna, I move with the punch, right? I, I absorb the punch, I come back, I block it. You're not just gonna hit me flush like that and I'm gonna be dead, you know? So um, even if you have iron, whatever, you know? And iron, whatever, once I grab you, dude, we're, we're, we're in a grappling situation. So like, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable there. I'm not saying that I would win, but you know, that's, that's what I do, I grapple, right? I do judo, I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu, I do wrestling, and um, yeah, so like this whole thing with like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have this uh, piece of metal here, oh metal, not even metal, like this big, big rock and, and knock somebody out, it's, it's bullshit. So, uh, you know, it's not a critique on a personal attack on Master Wong or this Dr. John guy. I don't even know why he's called doctor, is he even a doctor? Doesn't make sense to me. And honestly, I, I have a lot of issues with people calling themselves masters, you know? Because man, I've met Olympic athletes that they don't even, they don't even dare to call themselves masters, you know what I mean? And, and masters is kind of like a, a, a very illusionary uh, term. And it, it's, it's very cult-like, and, and I don't agree with that shit, man. You know, like, you know, like you, you, could, you, be, could, be, you could be good, but there's levels to it, man. You know, like, you could be a black belt, but that don't mean shit. Like, black belt is, is to me, you just mastered the basics and you've entered uh, the world of, uh, uh, the playing field of the adults, you know? That's where, this is where it starts to get fun. So, so you know, to claim that you're a master and then this Dr. John guy, uh, I'm not, I, like, I, I, I'd have to look into it, like look into more details, you know, about the, in the video, but uh, why is he being called a doctor? And if he's a doctor, are you seriously telling me if he's a real MD, a licensed MD, he's telling you to smash your hands against concrete? So, you know, uh, so it's not like a personal knock on these guys. It's just in general, anybody who tells you like, let's go condition your hands, you know, I'll give you some Chinese medicine and uh, it'll heal up really fast and you, you'll have like, like, you know, like, like, like bricks here and you'll not, man. Like just, just, just ignore that person. Anyways, uh, that was that's it for this video. I just want to get that off my chest because I feel that um, you know, like you could cause permanent damage to your hands, and and for anybody who's thinking about it, don't do it. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. So hope you like that. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if. Uh, if you know if you think this video can help anybody in your entourage or whatnot all right guys peace see you next time